the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, in India has recently brought to light the tragic exploitation of young Indians who were promised employment but instead found themselves amidst the deadly conflict in Ukraine. According to the investigators based in New Delhi, two Indian men, initially expecting non-combat roles within the Russian military as helpers, tragically lost their lives on the war's front lines. This heartbreaking incident highlights the plight of approximately 35 Indian youths who were misled by job opportunities, only to be coerced into active combat. Confirmations of these unfortunate events came following statements from the victims' families and the Indian Embassy in Russia, which verified the death of one of the individuals. The CBI has described the situation as a major human trafficking network that spans several states within India. Utilizing social media platforms and local agents, this network deceived individuals seeking employment. In a recent operation, the CBI detained an unidentified number of suspects for questioning and confiscated 50 million rupees, along with various documents and electronic records, in coordinated searches across New Delhi and Mumbai. The Indian nationals caught in this human trafficking scheme received combat training and were deployed to front bases in the Russia-Ukraine war zone against their volition, with some sustaining severe injuries. The CBI's statement was explicit in detailing the coercion that these victims faced. The distressing occurrences involve more than just the two men whose deaths have been reported. Last month, the families of Azad Yusuf Kumar and Zahur Ahmad Sheikh from Kashmir narrated how they were conned into traveling to Dubai for employment, only to be taken to Russia and forced to serve as mercenaries at the border with Ukraine. Family members have shared Kumar's reports of injuries sustained during the conflict. In another harrowing account, the family of 23-year-old Hamil Mangukia described his recruitment for a supposed security position in Russia. He had confided in his relatives about being compelled to undertake military training, trench digging, and operating weaponry before his tragic end in a missile strike in Ukraine. Official comments from the Russian Foreign Ministry remain absent despite these distressing revelations. The background of India's relationship with Russia is complex. New Delhi maintains a robust partnership with Moscow, spanning decades. India has navigated the Ukraine conflict cautiously, avoiding direct condemnation of Russia or President Vladimir Putin, instead advocating for resolution through dialogue and diplomacy. Further complicating international dynamics, India continues to increase its imports of discounted Russian oil, a move that has caused disquiet among Western nations. These developments underscore the need for greater vigilance and international cooperation against human trafficking, particularly in conflict zones, as well as the need for transparency and due diligence by governments to protect their citizens from such exploitation. The ongoing Ukraine crisis and its ripple effects continue to emerge as a global concern with humanitarian, economic, and geopolitical implications.